Oh, wow, this is going to be a raw video. Uh, welcome back to Aussie's Motor Tips. Um, you've caught me on the hop. This is not a prepared video at all. Um, I've had a visit from a customer um, giving me a few more bolts on his Toyota Starlet. Um, if you've seen on the oil change video, I do mention that it needs a repair, an alternator repair. Um, I'm on that today and um, I'm hoping the customer will be happy. I personally think it won't work, but uh, I'll explain why. Uh, the Toyota Starlet was driven by the customer. The battery light came on. He phoned me. I told him to bring the car to me and I diagnosed the problem. It was very easy because you could see it. Um, the pulley came off the alternator, which in turn then obviously does, does not turn the alternator to charge the battery. The battery would pick it up, blah, blah, blah. The dash comes on. OK, right. I think you can follow that. So today I'm on the job of repairing that. He's visited my house and uh, gave me another bolt. Um, so I've left the alternator on the car all this time because I need the go-ahead from the customer to take it off. He's gave me the go-ahead, um, so I've took it off the Starlet. Um, I didn't record that bit, but when I record it going back on, it's just basically reverse, okay? Um, so big heads up, the bolt that he's gave me to connect the pulley back on the alternator is absolutely laughable and ridiculous, but it might work. I gave him a 50-50% chance it will work. I personally, and I told him this, I personally would not put this bolt on this job or on this, this component, this alternator. Um, you'll see why. <clears throat> I personally think it's a plumber's, it's a plumber's bolt. But I personally know this customer as a friend and he's, uh, it doesn't surprise me that he's gone for this bolt and he's happy. He's happy with the risk. I'm not happy, but customer is always right, hey? Eh? So Toyota Starlet alternator is here. Now as it sits in the engine, as you face it, it's like this. Like that. And the engine, uh, the chassis, should I say, is pretty much up against like that. So this is why he's rightfully, optionally, took the alternator out of the car. That's the right call. The wrong call is what he's chosen to secure the pulley on. Now take a moment. This is bloody brass. Um, I think I've got a delivery. So bear that in mind. It might... Uh, it might um uh, interrupt this recording jesus i can't get my words out yeah that's my delivery one second okay that is a cabin filter and an air filter for my mini that's what that is okay so deliveries turned up fantastic that's uh that's another video to record but this one's a bigger video i would say so yeah, the Toyota Starlet alternator, um, that is your charge port. Um, when I undone it, there was spark, so we disconnected the battery. This port is, I'm guessing, please correct me if I'm wrong. That is a port for um, communicating with your dash, uh, as in when this when there's no charge going to the battery. This pretty much communicates with your ECU electronic control unit, I think and then puts a light on your dash if i'm wrong i'm wrong okay i mean i don't know everything so i know enough to make this repair maybe work if i had the right bolt so obviously if we whip this over like this what i've chosen to do that's not my choice but all this is is obviously put the pulley on Washer, tight washer, because we want we want it as tight as possible. Okay, that goes up against the pulley, and then this hilariously bad. It's hilariously bad. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm even doing it. But uh, the customer's right. There we go. Look, and it's solid. Well, <laughs> it's it's not solid. 
Uh, but I'm going to have to have two hands, get whatever size this is and ream this up. Um, and, and then fit the uh, alternator back on the Toyota Starlet, which is out there. That one. And then the jobs are good and we'll start it and we'll see this pulley fly off because that bolt is hilariously bad. Um, I'm going to grease this hole here because a big bolt goes through it. Um, and probably grease this one as well. That's your adjuster, adjuster bolt. Um, it's going to be hard to do this with just one hand recording it, but uh, we'll try. I'll try my best to get as much as, as much as I can. Actually, I've just thought of something. I might take this, leave this pulley off, get it past the drive shaft first. This because this alternator is bloody heavy for an alternator. I'm tempted to leave this pulley off for a second, and then we'll fit this pulley on when I've got the alternator past the drive shaft. So as, I, as I'm lifting this alternator, it was very tight between the drive shaft, the sump, and the uh, the wheel arch, the plastic wheel arch. So yeah, that might be a better better way of doing it, I think. And then we'll we'll work on the alternator then, I think. So let me set up the phone if I can. And I'll show you exactly what I'm all about. Okay, well, let's go to the car and let's have a bash at this. I know what to do. It's just doing it and recording it at the same time. See you at the starlet. Okay, so I don't know on the camera angle right now. Um, I can't perform miracles like that. But this is where the alternator goes up through. Um, if you wanted to not strip the uh, drive shaft and that up, so oh, the way I got it up a minute ago was this drops on my phone. My God! Uh, okay. well, it's, this looks easy, but it's it's really not. Got to find the right angle. To get, I know it came, it came out, so it's got to go in, yeah. Let's get that bit in first. Past that. There we go. Something like that. God, it looks easy on camera. I know. Right, up it goes. It's going up. There we go. That's looking good. Wow, okay, that was a lot easier than I thought. Right, so we're going to rest it on the drive shaft and the steering column, and we're going to work it from here, like this. <sighs> because the pulley would have made that harder at that stage. So the pulley goes on. I have to get the nut as well, isn't it? I'm not even sure if you can see this. Uh, perhaps, I don't know. I reckon you maybe could there. Okay, so pulley goes on. Then somehow I've got to hold it there. <sighs> Put the washer on. The washer's thin as well, but... And then I put the bolt on. Again, bolt is not my choice. I reckon the customer is absolutely insane. Trusting this bolt. Okay, there we go. Now I've got to tighten this bolt uh, which I probably won't record then I'll record it going back in which is gonna be so hard because my hand my hand is gonna be in the way totally totally in the way I mean even 
setting up the camera is hard enough. I don't, even know, I don't even know where to put one. So yeah, the bolt, the washer's on. It just needs to be tightened because that's just going to fly loose. To be honest, I think it's going to fly loose anyway. Uh, I don't know, man. I'd, I did tell the customer I'm not happy with this bolt. But uh, I reckon that's a uh, 16, 17-ish mil. Anyway, I'm going to tighten that whilst, whilst holding this pulley. And then hopefully this whole thing won't drop out onto my phone. So one second, and I'll get, I'll get the right, right size. Learn the right size is half the battle. It's definitely not a 14. Yes, very close to a 17. It is a 17, I think. 17 is going to be out of a tight. So I reckon it's an 18. Yeah, I mean 18 will, will do it. Okay, so let's tighten this up. <coughs> Right. Oh my god, the whole alternator's moving. If that goes on my phone. I might be able to tighten that. Uh, with it in the actual engine, uh, the engine bay. That's a good shout, I think, actually. Okay, let's spit it. So the alternator goes up into the slot. There's a bracket up here. I'll do loads of talking. Why not? Because I don't think you guys are going to even know what the hell's going on. Because my arm's in the way. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's get a wire brush in this bracket first. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing. <sighs> See that bracket right there? That needs to be wire brushed and greased. So it slides in. Uh, at the minute it's not sliding in. It was a bitch to get out, to be honest. So I'm gonna clean it up, wire brush it on the inside and then with the greased bolt it goes right through um, that's your main bolt so let me get the tools for that but it... this is a bitch to film it's that bolt there which has now got stones on it god's sake i have to re-grease that it goes right through that hole um, <coughs> where the bracket meets the alternator okay but I can't film all this this is impossible so let me get back to you I'll get it in place and then I'll show you exactly what's going on oh, Jesus, man. Right. as you can see when I get under here that's what I'm on about So that bolt needs to be going in. Like that. And then on the other side, which is very hard to see, I think. You can see, I, I, I can't, I can't get that on camera. Ugh. 
obviously the other side of that bolt needs a, needs a nut, yes? And yes, we haven't got a shitty nut for that bit. Um, so I'll do that up and then we'll go to the top of the alternator and do the rest from there, which should be easier to film, I'm hoping. But I'll do that first. Um, I think that was a 12 mil, I think. Something like that. Um, it's all greased up and ready to go. Uh, one sec. All right, that bolt is back in place, but it's not tight because I need to still adjust all this. Um, as you can see, probably, you can see two marks. I left that before I loosened the adjuster. So that's the original position when the pulley went. So that's exactly where I'll be aiming for it next time. But for now, we've got to connect this wire to the terminal and the lead to the port that I showed you and the belt on. So let's see if I can somehow set this up so you can watch somehow. There, some, something like that. Okay. So we'll get this belt on. Easier said than done, it always is. Obviously I'm trying to get it on the bigger pulley first, which is pretty much there. There we go, that's on. It's on the crankshaft. It's on the power steering pump and it's on the alternator. There you go, look. That's what you're after. So that's good. Um, now it's on the actual engine itself, or the engine bay. I might be able to loose, uh, tighten that um, ridiculous nut that the customer wants on this pulley. But what I want to do is get it there. See that mark by my thumb? That's where I want it to stay. That's where I'm aiming. Because that's where the original the original um, I can't get my words out. Okay, so that's the wrong side. You want to get it in here. This is the this is the nut that holds the tension. Don't want to cross thread it. Which it does feel as though it is. Yeah, that's that's crap. One sec. You can see that's not square. That feels a tiny bit more like it. I think this is a 12 mil. Uh, just feels as though it's cross threaded. You want this going in by hand first. That I can't. I don't think that's cross threaded, and it was tight coming out. So what I'll do is I'll get this in to near the bracket, and then I'll start filming again because it might take a while. Um, plus, I need to get these leads in. Um, this lead I've already set up the tool for. Yeah. So I'll try and film that if I can, which may be up here. I don't know if you can see what's going on. No, you can't. Bugger. Uh, hmm. This is expected because it's so hard to film. Oh, there we go. It's so hard to film and get the get the uh, tools down there at the same time. You can see where I'm trying to aim. It's right there where I want to connect it. But there's nowhere to put the phone so you can actually watch. About there. Is my phone gonna. Okay, that's kind of risky, if anything. Right, so I'm gonna connect that to there. 
there we go, like that. Kind of looks a bit rusty, but I was given a washer to go on there. Like that, and then the bolt, little tiny 10 mil. They're always 10 mil, aren't they? Like full stretch. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. So I've got a massive extension bar. And if we go down, there you are. It's a flexi bar as well, which I won't be able to show you. Okay. I don't want to nudge my phone at the same time. hand a little bit first. Wow this is very difficult. If, if anything actually I should to make it easier for me bring the alternator right up and yes I know you can barely see that now but it makes it easier for me to actually meet this bolt. That's going on. I think so. <clears throat> this is so improvisation, but all mechanics is, to be honest. Okay. See the result of that. There we go, that's all. Although. Just checking, I went, that went on by hand first, so I can't see it being cross-threaded. Just tightened up really fast, I think. It's definitely tight. And then there's a cover to go over that, which I can easily show you. This is the cover. And then, it just goes over like that. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. So the actual tool that I use, because I need to move the camera anyway now, is that with a flexi end. Um, some setup just to get to that bloody bolt. Okay, and then there's a connector which you can see. Um, I might have to go under for that. I did on the last time. So we'll go under a minute. See if we can get it on camera. Okay. This is where it gets difficult to film because there's a natural rotation on the phone. Okay, so that white connector there, port. I need to somehow get it in. In there. Whilst filming. <laughs> okay, one sec. There we go. That's the best I can do for you guys. Uh, this is hard. And it just clicks in. There, like that. Cool. Okay, so that's it. Okay, you got that? It's quite a simple, quite a simple connector. It's just not simple when you're trying to record. Okay, so now basically the next thing now is to... Okay, that's the tool gone. Um, to set those marks up. Um, and not cross thread anything. It's a 12 mil 
So I'm just setting up some tools here. Uh, but what I might do, like I said, is I'll get the screw in a little bit first. Um, and then I'll film the rest um, when I'm at the end because it's going to take forever, I think. All right, I've got, to, I've got to make sure that this is not cross threaded as well. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, guys, uh, that was a bitch. But as you can see, I've got the marks pretty much bang on, the belt is back on. Um, I may have some old pictures of the belt off originally. Um, I'm able to get that. I don't know. I'll see. See if I can do that. Uh, the connectors are all back up. Uh, that tensioner um, bolt is done right up, as far as I can do it. Um, what I do need to do still is do up that horrible brass bolt that uh, the customer has chose. The customer that is. What I need to do as well is check. The tension of the belt is pretty tight. I'm happy. I reckon that would work initially. That's quite tight. So usually the rule of thumb is quarter of a turn. Uh, maybe just under the tension. And that's exactly what I've got. So I'm going to leave it here. A minute. I want to... I don't know if I can get a... Oh my god. I don't know if I can get a spanner in there to do that up. I need to. So we'll see what I can do. Uh, get a spanner. I think it was 17, I think, wasn't it? 18. Do that brass nut up. Make sure it won't go anywhere or do my best with it. Um, I'll do the bolts up at the bottom as well, underneath. The one that I greased, remember? And then... Then we can start it. I don't want to, but we can. Um, so I'll see you then, I suppose. It's looking good. I may get the customer to start it. <laughs> so it's all under the car again. Uh, let me show you what I've just done. I, will, I won't be doing it up anymore, only because I'm just not happy. I'm not happy with that bolt at all. So, what I did, okay, hang on, I've got to swap hands again. So it tilted up then, didn't it? God sake. Okay. So I went up in there and done it up this way. There you go, I've got it now. I've got that bolt that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And yeah, I've done it up to as much as I can possibly put up with. Uh, and again, the tension of the belt is good. Really good, in fact. So I'm happy with that. It's connected to the crankshaft uh, pulley. This needs to be done up yet. So I'll do that up, which I need both hands because I need to grip there and there. Uh, so, yeah, I need both hands. I've just got a load of crap in the belt. So, yeah, uh, I've done it up. The pulley is on. It's secure. But will it be secure if we start it? My mechanical knowledge is telling me no. But, uh, again, I'm doing what the customer has asked me to do. Uh, what, he's, what he's given the funds over for, I suppose. Uh, he's mad. He's mad and I'm not. So I'm going to do those two bolts up at the bottom with the bracket. And then it's ready to start. It really is. I don't, I don't want to though. <coughs> Crap, I just banged my phone on the exhaust. So yeah, let me do them up. And then what I'll do is I'll set the phone on top of the engine and we'll all have a laugh at that pulley coming off. Uh, but if it does... I'll still put this on YouTube and it'll be a warning to you guys. Still follow this procedure because it's the right procedure. Everything's gone well. 
it's just the weapon of choice by the customer is absolutely dreadful and that will be the reason why that pulley comes off again okay I'll repeat that it won't be nothing to do with what I've done it will be the weapon of choice with what what he's chose that that nut is crap it's a plumber nut um, but we'll see um, the only the another reason why I'm recording this is because I want him to see that I've done the work you know <laughs> if it comes off again then uh, I don't know well it's not my fault um, but if you had a better nut a locking nut for example stuff like that um, this procedure will get you back on the road okay this is the right procedure okay right so I'm gonna do those bolts up at the bottom and I'll be starting up the engine then let's uh, let's fingers crossed right everything's done up everything is ready to be started Darren I say uh, we're just gonna connect the battery back up terminals and seen better days as well this whole car has seen better days but the customer I think has got a soft spot for it <laughs> so it's a positive terminal okay <laughs> here we go <clears throat> I personally think it's gonna come right back off okay just for just for reference I think that that pulley is going to come right back off if I start this. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Again, out of gear, definitely. Right, here we go. Wow, okay. It's kind of been a bit weird at the minute. But that pulley is staying on. Don't know how long for, but... It's, uh, it's had an oil change as well by yours truly which is actually on the on the channel as well so that belt the belt's looking good tension has not changed no uh, nope it's on the mark still I know the HT leads are working because I just had a shock from uh, cylinder three. Thank you very much for that. On my wrist. So now I'm charged as well. Customer is going to be happy. I'm kind of happy to be honest. That's pretty good. Uh, the battery light is now off as well as you can see no battery light customer complaint was obviously battery light alternator not charging well he didn't know that at the time but he's going to be back on the road I think I don't know how long it will last if I'm honest But either way, either way, he's going to be happy. So we're going to take it off the actual stands now. Um, I'm not going to take it for a test run, uh, mainly because it's not my car and I'm not insured. But that pulley's surprisingly staying there. It's, Again, it's still not my weapon of choice of the uh, plumber nut. That's ridiculous. But he was happy enough 
So, well, if the customer is happy, I'm happy. So let's go inside um, and go through a summary of what went right, what went wrong, and my advice and what actually happened. Um, I know that the oil's good because the oil change has been done. Um, yeah, I mean, all good, I suppose. Let's go back in the house. Ciao. Okay, so. <sighs> Ooh, a repair job there. Um, not maintenance. Uh, these things happen. The alternator lost its pulley. Um, so, in turn, he would have lost the main nut that holds the pulley onto the alternator. Um, i.e. then the belt disconnected and the warning light came on. It's exactly what happened to the customer. The customer got hold of me. Um, I had to get the car here, so he had to drive it initially to me. Um, and yeah, the hunt went on for a bolt to fit. That's where it slightly went wrong. Um, he was posting nut after nut. I was looking for nuts as well, um, which sounds really dodgy. Um, we found a nut in the end. I told him to get a better nut. That's a plumber nut. Get the same, the same one, but in a different material. Uh, that was my advice. I can only give advice. I can't tell them what to do. Um, he went for the option of using the plumber nut. But I'm not surprised. Um, he is kind of like that. Uh, and I don't know. His, he's got a uh, nice Scirocco. So he doesn't want to spend too much on this starlet. I, I get it. I get it. But at the same time, I don't get it because it's going to happen again. I'm pretty sure. And he knows about this. So uh, anyway. So... They are the steps to get an alternator out and in of a starlet. I didn't get out on video, but out is pretty much opposite to what exactly what I just did. The starlet is pretty easy to work on. There's quite a lot of space, believe it or not. If that was a mini, wow, that's a different kettle of fish. Um, but yeah, the starlet's really quite easy to work on. Um, it reminds me a little bit of my Matiz that I used to have, uh, Deyu Matiz. Um, and yeah, the customer's going to be happy. Um, I've got to work out how much to charge him at the minute. I don't know how long I took. Um, I don't know, like an hour and a half, I think, something like that. I don't know. Things that went right was, well, it got repaired. It is actually repaired. The battery light is out. So there's charge going to that battery now. So that's, that's gone right. Um. We did find a nut in the end, that went right. Um, I had all the tools I needed, that went right. Uh, I did it all by myself, I didn't need any help, that went right. So I didn't need the customer helping me, that's, a, that's sometimes embarrassing. Um, what, things that went wrong was he chose the wrong nut. I keep going on about that because I know it's not going to, well it, might, it, may, it may prove me wrong. It, it may prove me wrong, but I think it not, it's not going to hold. It's not going to do its job. That's that's my opinion. Um, the threads on the alternator are not stripped for when it went, so that's good. No old, no new alternator needed. Um, things that went wrong. Uh, I think I was on wrong, wasn't I? <laughs> yeah, the weather. But um, yeah, I I can include that in every one of my videos. I think. Uh, but to be honest, I'm quite happy with the result. I'm just not happy with the bolt. Okay. Uh, the nut, that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, another thing that went right was I was able to maintain the tension on the belt. That's quite important. Uh, you want the same tension. So if you are going to take an alternator out, please mark it like I did on the video. I don't know if you could see the marks on the video. Please mark it the original position of where that alternator bracket is, because that's the tension that is meant to be, um, that is meant to be set at. Um, whether the belt stretched is another thing. 
If the belt is stretched, then obviously get a new belt to bring the tension in, I would say. But uh, yeah, the, the, the main focus of here was to get that alternator back in. If any of you doesn't don't actually know what an alternator does, it basically just charges the battery whilst you're driving. I mean, if without an alternator in a car, you would have about 12, 13 starts of an engine, maybe a little bit of radio on, you know, and then all of a sudden you'll find yourself in Audi car park, no power, because the battery would be drained. So the alternator charges the battery whilst you're driving. As simple as that. It keeps it alive. So you are able to start it every single time. Blah, 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 blah. Okay? That's what an alternator does. So it's essential that that car has the alternator working. Okay? That's why he had his battery light up and running. So I'll leave you with a uh, nice video of my Mini. Um, I'm going to have a look at my package now that turned up, um, which should be a cabin filter for it. Um, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Um, I'm glad that uh, that went well, and I hope it was some help of you, uh, for you. Um, it's similar with all cars, I would say, alternators. There's loads of different variants, but uh, it will have a tensioner bracket, and it will have a, a support bolt uh, at the bottom, and it will have a pulley, and it will have a belt. They've all got the same the kind of idea. So use this to your knowledge uh, and your help, and uh, I hope it all goes well. Thanks for watching. Cheers.